All right, guys, it's my day off just before Christmas, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you back about a month ago to a call I did. I was on call, it was a rooftop, it was dark outside, and we had a low voltage short for a dance studio with a bunch of kids inside that were dancing and trying to keep warm. So I'm gonna take you back to that call, and listen, when you're watching the video, I thought I had the problem figured out, but I didn't. So keep watching and I'll let you know at the end of my troubleshooting what happened when I went back to replace the thermostat. This video is brought to you by Harago.com, the trades only platform helping you find the right job or the right candidate. Harago.com, best in trade. All right, I'm on a roof. It's after hours, I'm on call. Newer York unit. I'm not liking what I see here because it's starting to snow. I have a trip breaker on the low voltage side. Now look what happens. As soon as I press it, it trips again. This is not what I want to see on an after hours call, especially when it's dark and snowing. Anyway, I'll let you guys know what I find here. Okay, so through process of elimination, basically I removed everything from the board except for the thermostat wires and it kept tripping. Okay, so I removed the W1 wire right there and the R wire which is right there and it didn't trip. If I put one of them on, it trips. If I have both of them on, it trips. So I took both of them off and I jumped out the heat, everything is going well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the thermostat, I'm gonna pull the stat off the wall and jump out the sub base, and if this thing starts back up, no problem, then that thermostat has a short in it. So let's go downstairs and figure that part out. Okay, so W1 and R are back on. The heat's running. Down at the thermostat, what I did is I pulled the thermostat off the sub base, pulled the white and red wire off the sub base and jump them out with the jumper. I didn't make a video down there because it's a kid's dance studio and I wasn't gonna make a video in there. But the thermostat has been bypassed and the problem has gone away. So through process of elimination, we have found out what the problem is. And guys, this is the best way to troubleshoot a short, low voltage short, especially just because you're eliminating each thing as you go and when you find it, you find it, it's it's that simple. Happy HVACing. Okay, so we gotta stop here for a minute. Let me tell you what happened on the rest of this call. It didn't turn out the way I thought it would turn out while I was making the video. So the next day I went back with the new thermostat. Okay, I put it on the wall, I ran the system. It was running good for like 20 minutes. I was letting it warm up, okay? Cause it was 65-ish when I got there. I let it warm up and as it's warming up, the fan stopped, just like that. Uh, went to the roof, found the breaker was tripped again. So obviously the thermostat wasn't the problem. So what I did is I took, this was a two stage stat, but it was a single stage unit, but it was wired for two stages, okay? Even though it was only a single stage unit, there was only one heat, one cool. So what I did is I took some conductors off of the thermostat wire and I replaced the R and the W with two other conductors that were on Y2 and W2. I did that and then the problem went away. It ran for quite a while. So basically what I had was intermittent shorts in those wires that were going from the stat to the roof. And I guess when I pulled the stat off and I was wiggling them around and stuff, it kind of eliminated the short for a short period of time, but it revealed itself again. So the quote was put in to replace the wire from the stat to the roof. They got a new stat out of it, but my initial findings were when the stat was pulled off and the wires were jumped out, the thing ran and I didn't have a problem. But when I went back the next day, that wasn't the case. So I just want to make you aware of that, guys. Um, sometimes thermostat wiring, if it's run weird or if it's pinched or something like that, it can intermittently short out, especially if it's vibrating or whatever. Uh, so keep an eye out for that, guys. Happy HVACing.